cleaning, mixing, and mastering audio. That's what we're going to be looking at in this video. What's up, guys? San Pedro here. So let's get started. Sometimes you are recording your audio in a noisy place, maybe next to a factory or outside the wind is blowing or inside your home that there is a refrigerator noise or you have too much his background noise in your audio. If it is too much, all that unwanted background noise can be removed. You can also mix audio with different sound effects, add background music, and also mastering your final audio mix using different plugins and audio effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get inside the program and let me show you how you do that. To clean the audio in Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm gonna use essential sounds here on the right. If you can't see it, just go on the window and select essential sound and it will appear. Now, if I play my sound, you will notice that the audio levels are good, but it has too much hiss noise. See in this category, smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. To clean that up, I will click dialogue on essential sounds window because we are dealing with a speech. You will see a lot of settings. There is loudness, repair, clarity, and creativity. I'm just gonna show you the ones that I use. The rest, you can experiment with them later. The first one I use is the repair. So I click on that. You will see a few more options. And since I just want to reduce the noise or take out that his sound, I will check the reduce noise button, then move the slider to where I think the noise will be taken out. Let's say, at two. You can hear the difference when I play it. So you can see in this category, smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. And listen when I play the original one. So you can see in this category, smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. Be careful not to crank it too much. It will sound robotic like this. So you can see in this category, Smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. So let's maintain two. And if your audio has any of the remaining four, just check that particular option and adjust it accordingly. For now, I'll just use the reduced noise. Click repair to close it, then go to dynamics. Here I can increase the vocal presence of my speech. Let me check this box and basically it just increases the volume of my speech. But for my audio, you can see on the audio meter that it is in good range, so I will uncheck it. Then I'll go to the enhanced speech, check the box, and I'll select low tone because my voice has a low tone. So now, if I play it back, pay attention to the audio which I added effects versus the one without effects. You can see in this category, smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorders. So you can see in this category, Smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorder. That's a huge difference. So what I'll do next is to select the clip which I have added the effects to. Go to effect controls and you will see the effects that I have added on that clip. Select all of them, click on the first one, hold the control key on the keyboard and select the rest. Then right click and copy them. Then come to the timeline, select all the other clips where I didn't add the effects and press Ctrl V or Command V on Mac to paste those effects. Now all the clips have the same effect. So that is how you clean audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. So after mixing the audio, the final step remaining is mastering. Go to the project window, click on new item button to create a new sequence. Put values, I'll start with the DSLR video. 3840 by 2160, then name it Final Audio Mix. What I'll do is to bring the audio sequence in this timeline like this. You can see it is the same when I play it. In this category, smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorders. If I double click on it, I'm going back to the original mix. Now I can add other effects, but on top of everything this time, the first effect I use is called Dynamics. Go to the Effects window, Audio Effect, Amplitude and Compression, then drag and drop Dynamics on top of our clip. Go to the Effect Controls and find Dynamics Effect. Click on Edit, then Preset. I always use Soft Compression. And when I play, I look at the audio meter. You can see in this category, 
Smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. I can see that the audio is slightly low, so I increased the makeup maybe to 4.2 on this one and play again. So you can see in this category, smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorder. Now it is perfect. And add another audio effect called parametric equalizer. You will find it in the effect window, audio effects, filter and EQ, then drag and drop parametric equalizer. Go to the effect window, find it and click on edit. On the left, you have low frequencies and on the right, you have the high frequencies of your sound. And since my voice has so much low frequency, like it has so much buzz, I will lower the low frequencies by grabbing these square boxes. You can call them nodes maybe, and take the high frequencies a bit higher and play back. See, in this category, smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. So when it comes to budget, smartphone is the winner much better now anyways there are so many audio effects you can play around with just go through them and see what they do and take note of the ones that you like this is it on cleaning mixing and mastering audio i'll see you in the next video this is it again peace after i'm done cleaning the audio the next thing is to mix that audio with other audios music and sound effects so on this clip, I want to add background music and some sound effects on the numbers when they are changing. So you can see when I play this clip, the numbers are changing. So where the numbers are changing, I want to add some sound effects there. Let me start by bringing my background music, constrict this track and open the one for the background music. If I play back, so you can see in this category, smartphone setup is the cheapest. Obviously, we don't want the background music to be as loud as the speech. So let's reduce the volume by dragging the volume line down. Maybe let's put it to negative 22 right here and play again. Setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. So when it comes to budget, smartphone That is sounds the good to me, at least for now. Then let me add the sound effects. Go to the project window, select sound number one, preview the sound. I will put this sound effect on the numbers when they are changing. So drag and drop just where the dash changes to three and drop another one on the next change. Then for the zero position, let me add a different sound effect. Let me go with sound number two. Let me preview it. Yeah then drag and drop it to the zero position. And on the overall winner, let me add a different sound effect. This time I'm gonna go with sound number three, play to preview it. Yeah, this is the one, then drag and drop it where the winner is announced. And I want another sound effect of the crowd cheering when I announce the winner. So let's go with sound number four, let me play it back again to just preview it. And let's play the whole clip back now and hear how it sounds. Smartphone setup is the cheapest, followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. So when it comes to budget, smartphone is the winner. Almost good, but not perfect. Let me reduce the volume for the sound effects. I will go to the effect window audio effects, amplitude and compression, then select mount band compressor, drag and drop it on my first sound effect, then go to the effect control, click on edit and reduce it maybe to negative seven, play back, followed by the camp, then copy the plug in, press control V or command V on Mac, then paste it on the other sound effects. When I play back, first followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. So when it comes to budget, the first two are okay. The third one still needs to be reduced. So go to the effect control window again and reduce it maybe to somewhere negative 12. And let me play again. Followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. So when it comes to budget, then the applause is still high. Let me bring it down to negative 14 maybe and play again. Smartphone is the winner. This sounds good. 
but the background music needs to increase when I stop talking, somewhere around here, and reduce it again when I start talking. So let me move the playhead to when I'm about to stop talking and put a keyframe there, move forward a bit and put another keyframe, then raise the volume here, move the playhead again, put keyframes here, move forward a bit and put the last keyframe here, then reduce the volume again and let's play that part. Budget smartphone is the winner. So when it comes to setup time, Okay, let's fade out the applause sound effect as well. This time, let us just add an audio transition. Come to effects window, audio transitions, crossfade and constant power and add it at the end of the applause sound. Now, if I play the whole clip, so you can see in this category, smartphone setup is the cheapest followed by the camcorders and then DSLR. So when it comes to budget, smartphone is the winner. So when it comes to setup time, depending on how many people you are setting up for, that's much better. And that is how we mix audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. And the final step remaining is mastering the audio, which we shall do in the next video. This is it. Peace.